Money is everything on the donor SMP. That's why you'll see people all around the internet trying to make as much money on the server as possible. People will build farms, resell stuff from the shop, gamble, raid bases, and even invest into items, which is what I'll be focusing on today. Most people who invest are doing it wrong. They'll just buy some of the items and forget about it later, thinking it'll go up in price. Sometimes it does, but you can be way more efficient by applying other methods. Well, I remembered how people can make money by investing into different companies by knowing when to buy and sell shares of the companies. I was wondering if it could be possible to apply this to Donor SMP's auction house. So if you haven't played on the server before, you probably have no idea what I just said. Let me explain. So the auction house is where players can put up items for sale in exchange for in-game currency. Many players before selling will actually check the price of the cheapest items so they can sell it for cheaper to make the item sell faster. And items which are finite resources will sell for large amounts of money and keep going up because of its rarity. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to be using two different methods to try and predict the auction house. Both of these methods require the price history of an item, which is actually quite simple to get. There are two ways of doing this, and I'll be using the second one. The first method is using the Donut SMP API, which stands for Application Programming Interface. An API allows one program to connect to another, allowing data to be transferred directly, which in this case would be the auction house items. You might have heard of the slash API command, which is what allows developers to get a password to access the API data. The second option is to use a program to read the auction house window. It extracts the text from the item and parses it into a number. This is what I did because the API seems to be inaccurate at times and sometimes it misses a full entry. I wrote the program in TypeScript and installed it onto my servers, so now all I need to do is wait for enough data to be collected. So the data collection process has been running for around two days and I've made a small React app to read the database and render the charts. I'm able to try the first method now that I have access to a candlestick chart. A common way of showing price information is to use a line graph which uses the y-axis to represent the price and the x-axis to represent time. While the line graph can show the general direction of the market, sometimes we need more information. This is a candlestick chart. You can see that it follows the general shape of the line, but now there are these rectangles. It might look confusing at first, but I'll explain how to read it. Every candlestick represents a period of time which is different from the line graph which has each point representing an instance in time. In this example, the candlestick represents a 5 minute period. Each candlestick contains three elements, the body, the wick, and the color. Let's start with the wick. The top part of the wick is where the highest price during the period was, which in this example was $50. The bottom part is where the lowest price was during the 5 minutes. The body shows the opening and closing price, that is, the price at the start of the 5 minutes and at the end of the 5 minutes. Here it opened at $20 and closed at $40 because the top of the body is aligned with the tick on the y-axis. Also remember that the colour is very important. In this case, the colour of the candlestick is green, meaning that the price went up during this 5 minute period. If the candlestick was red, the closing price would be the lower part of the body and the opening price would be the higher part. Now that we understand how to read such charts, let me show you some patterns to look for to predict where the market may be heading. The first pattern is called the bearish engulfing pattern. You can think of the bearish market as the price going down and a bullish market as the price going up. This pattern consists of two candlesticks, one which is a small bullish candlestick and another which is a larger bearish candlestick that engulfs the previous one. This is a sign that the price may be going down, which in this case did happen. You can also see it happened here, where this uh, bearish candlestick is engulfing the previous one and the price also declined. Let's now take a look at the bullish engulfing pattern. It's just like the first one, but it is now the inverse of it. An engulfing bullish candlestick following a small bearish candlestick indicates a rise in price. You'll notice that the lows of these candlesticks are very different from the close. This is just because sometimes someone will place a listing for a low price and it immediately gets fulfilled and goes back to the original price like we can see on the line graph. 
Now, I was going to try to invest in some real items using this, but I didn't think it's worth it. Here's why. So firstly, I feel that I was looking specifically for certain patterns and that there would be way more cases where the patterns didn't work that I potentially ignored or didn't see. Secondly, the auction house represents virtual items which do not amount to anything unlike the stock market where people invest in real assets. Because of this, players don't care if they decide to do stupid things for fun, but real investors trade knowing that it may change the way they live. Thirdly, insider trading and price manipulation is illegal in real life. However, players on the donor SMP can do whatever they want to move the price of something. Now if you do want to try this, there are plenty of public websites that show the auction house prices and I also suggest you open these links to learn more about this sort of stuff. I also leave references in the corner of the screen if you want to know more about a topic I talk about. In my next attempt to predict the auction house, I'm going to be using AI. When you hear AI, you probably think of ChatGPT first. However, this is different. ChatGPT is a type of LLM which is designed to generate human-like text. What I'm doing is called deep learning, which learns patterns from data. For my prediction AI, I'm going to give it 60 price points and it will generate what it thinks will be the next 60 points. The AI is made up of neurons which process an input and gives an output. These are chained together in layers where lots of calculations are done before giving the final prediction. While training the AI, a computer program tweaks each neuron over and over and then it checks how close the prediction was to the real price and readjusts the neuron to reduce the error. Over time, the right combination of neurons are found which gives the best predictions. Again, I'm not too informed on this topic, but if you do want to learn more, you should have a look at these websites on screen right now. Also, it would mean so much if you could subscribe to my channel. You'll also be notified when I upload another video like this. I trained the model using the Elytra Price data and the Gilded Blackstone data. It took around two hours for each one, and I wrote a Python script to use the AI model to predict the price. Here's what it gave me. I felt like the results were somewhat accurate, so I decided to consult the AI on when to invest. I saw that the price was going up and I bought a few gilded blackstone off AH. I also took some out of my ender chest that I bought while recording some of the clips for this video. I waited for 30 minutes, which was around how long 60 points was, and I put up the items on the auction house. I made a grand total of zero dollars and probably lost some money. Apparently no one wants to buy my Gilded Blackstone, so if you do, you should check out my AH and buy some now if it hasn't expired before then. To finish the video, I'll answer the question I believe most of you will be asking right now. How can I do any of this to make money? I'd say it's a very small chance any of this actually works in the long term. I did make that claim at the start where I said you're all investing wrong and I still stand by that. You can still invest when you see a spike coming whether or not that's like some YouTuber talking about the item or something else. And if you do want to try the AI then go ahead. I, I only use like 7 days of training data so my model isn't perfect but if you do have more data then you may get better results. The source code to the data collection system is available on my github and if you have any questions please join my discord thank you for watching